How are you doing? Well, how are you? Thank you very much. Uh, I've got an appointment. To, for repair? Yeah. Well, not for repair, but just a... Uh, Troubleshoot? Yeah. Uh, talk to the folks here with the new iPad cover. Okay. How you doing? Uh, I've got a genius appointment. Okay. I just want them to get hurt. And uh, what was your name? And what time was the appointment? I think it was at 2.20. Okay. Yep, you're right there. Alright, so I'm actually going to uh, send you over to get it started. This okay. It's just going to be some preliminary information, which is this table right here. Right here. And I'm just going to write down what you write so you can find it. Okay. Okay. Hang right over here. Hang right over at this table, okay? okay. Wi-Fi issue. Okay. With uh, as soon as we put on iOS 7, Wi-Fi died. Uh, battery went. The Wi-Fi grayed out. Yeah. Battery went down to nothing. We did all the uh, tricks and whatnot they said to uh, you know to cut down on the battery use, but it's still without even using it. Just since since I left, feel it went down. Well, it won't stay down there. Refreshed, but okay. yeah, one second. Okay.
เกิดI did everything. <laughs> soon as she, uh, well, it's my wife. Soon as she put the iOS 7 on it, she noticed the battery going, and looked online, went through all the uh, things to save the battery life on it. You know, turning off all the certain, you know, the automatic updates and all that. And it was still gonna. It was 100% when I left the house today at two o'clock. I don't know what it's up to now. Down to. Considering. Uh, it wasn't being used for anything, it was just sitting in a box. Uh, and then we noticed that the Wi-Fi, because I went to, I said, well, that's when I think uh, 701 came out, 7.0.1. So when you updated the and, Wi-Fi. And I noticed that the Wi-Fi wasn't working on it. So I looked online, found out there's been issues with it. And I've been waiting on updates to see what it, if it fixed it or anything. And uh, looked at, uh, waited until 4 came out, uh, 7.0.4 came out, and that still didn't do anything. Uh, so, right now we have two options. Um, basically, what's happening is the antenna is shot. Okay. Um, the antenna shot, why? Because iOS out. 7 why got put on, or just happened to, just happened to magically. Because the iOS 7 got put on because I haven't really seen any of the. Channel 30 just did a big story in it. Okay. Well, you guys didn't I see that. Channel 30, but oh, okay. The geniuses see this stuff every day. Yeah. So what they told me was that the antenna is shot. Mm -hmm. It's not replaceable. You have to replace the whole phone. Okay. Now what is involved with the antenna? What is the antenna? What is is it a chip? Is it a 
Um, I couldn't tell you the details on the antenna. Okay. I have to have a genius um, talk to you about that. Okay. But right now the options will be I can check to see if you're eligible for an upgrade or a replacement phone. Well, upgrade my wife already did. And she got a new phone. Mm -hmm. Bought a Galaxy. Well, I'm paying for a replacement phone. Okay. iOS 7 did it. Everyone knows it. I can pull it up on the boards, message boards. Channel 30 just did a big story on it. It's not anything that it's. If 6 was still on it, the thing would be working fine. Never had an issue with the phone. So, and you haven't even looked at it to see what is wrong with it. You're just going by what I said, and automatically you say it's the Wi-Fi, and the antenna's broken. Yeah? Because I figured I was going to be getting a replacement. So Apple doesn't update. If you were in warranty, we could have swapped the phone out for you. Okay. No cost. So since I upgraded the iOS, since I upgraded iOS 7, I'm out of luck. I can talk to a manager to see if there's anything else, okay. but normally they say the same thing. Okay, that's why I want to hear from a manager too. Oh, you got right here. It has to go through the Yeah, it's good. Um, so can we place your call for you? What is, excuse me, do you, uh, have, you do next to So the, if you do have Apple Care Plus and I just want to double check that, I told you maybe I just want to make sure that it's in the system. I'm one of the leads here at the store. Okay. Um, so a lot of these came over and grabbed me. So you're experiencing the... Great out, great out Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, and that happened when? As soon as uh, iOS 7 was uh, put on. Sure. Okay. Um, what do you mean by sure? Well, I was making sure I was getting the right scenario. Oh, okay. That's what he was going to discuss. So okay. the idea is that iOS 7 caused great out Wi-Fi. That's what we're saying, right? Yep. And he quoted you the full, the full unit as, as a replacement? The reason why we are quoting the full unit, right, because the phone's outside of the, the, the warranty yeah. scan, right? Regardless of whether or not iOS 7 caused it, that's why we look at that line. Um, he partnered with me, but I was, so what What was my reason for coming over? You said you were looking to speak to a manager about, like, the how and the I have to pay for a new one now because mm -hmm. I put iOS 7 on it. 
grayed it out, doesn't work anymore, and now I gotta buy a new phone. Well, in the, in the case that we're looking at here, right? So the phone itself is uh, 300 some odd days, like outside of whatever that warranty was, whether it was okay. purchased with Apple Care or not, right? So once we get something happening to that phone, it, regardless of whether it's iOS 7 or if it was a dropped phone or, you know, the sleep wake one stop, whatever it is, right? It puts the phone outside of that, that warrantyable state where the only thing that we can do inside the system is to do that process, that full swap. Okay. Um, I'm of the mind where we, you know, everybody that comes with a phone will get a new phone for free, but that's something that we're... No, I just wanted, you know, yeah. it, 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 it's, it's apparently a known fact. You, you Google it, you look at on Yahoo, a lot of people are having issues with it. Well, we, Channel 30 just did a story on it. Sure. So you guys must know... I don't know they did the story on it. I know people are talking about it, but we're seeing it with iOS 6 as well. Yep. So it's not necessarily a no... A lot more with iOS 7, 7 now. Fair enough. That being said, that's still the best option that we've got is, is a whole new phone at this point. Making sure that what we do is not restore it from a backup is also going to be crucial because it could have been, when we put iOS 7 on, it could have exacerbated an issue that was already present, just one that we didn't notice. Put iOS 7 on there, you restore it from a backup, you may bring that same thing back on because well, it's it's more yeah, software, right? My phone, I won't even, you know, I already upgraded it because yep. I've got a Forest as well. Yep. I won't update it anymore. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. So now, why would you say fair enough? Because that's your choice to do. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. But so I'm of the mind that I had a customer earlier who was like, you know, I'm probably not going to buy an Apple laptop. When I have to buy a laptop, I'll go to HP. He says, well, I'm, I'm due for an upgrade, doing. and then I was going to buy a 5S. Yep. But I don't think I'm going to now. Fair. That's your decision. Yeah. To make, right. Yep. And uh, I know I'm not going to let this one die. I'm going to go further with this. Yep. And uh, see where it goes. Yeah. I mean, because you know, if you look on the Apple boards, you know. Hundred, a thousand people have replied to it, and I forget over a hundred thousand people have looked at just that one thread. Yep. So apparently there's an issue. Apple even put out a uh, service bulletin or whatever about the grayed out Wi-Fi okay. and how to fix it and everything. Yep. I did all that. Still didn't take care of it. He didn't even look at the phone. He's just going on what I said. You automatically yeah. want to sell me a new phone because I restored it to factory settings. Right. So in a case like that, what we what we look at is... I don't even know, because I put 7.0.4 on it, yep. but it wants me to connect to iTunes. So I don't even, to be honest with you, the Wi-Fi might be working now. I highly doubt it, because everyone who's upgraded it to the newest version has not. But upgrading an, an iOS... But it's very much a, a not everybody scenario. But yeah, it's not everyone, right. but you got certain ones that were certain time. Because I bought mine different times, so that's probably why mine's still working and hers isn't. Are you eligible for an upgrade? Instead of buying like a replacement for this, you could get a whole new phone. I don't. I don't well, know no, she already bought one. She bought a, a Galaxy S4. Okay. Because the battery was going within uh, half a day. It was going from 100 to zero. Okay. Uh, even with all the. Uh, all the updates. And all, all, no, all the all the shutting off everything that'll drain the battery. Yep. Uh, the weird thing is, is that the, the Bluetooth still works on it. Everyone else says it's a battery issue, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Okay. But the Bluetooth still working on it. So if that's the same part, if it's the same chip, the same antenna, I would assume it's probably using the same chip and same antenna. I don't know. I'm not a. I haven't opened it. Sure. But uh, why would one work and not the other? Couldn't tell you. I mean, every phone's going to do its thing, right? It's it's almost like getting different cars, right? Every car off the lot, off the line, is going to do the same four tours that you got. One's okay, so, have a so, issue with okay so you have one that uh, the brakes are bad on it because Ford put uh, faulty brakes on it, the dealer. Yep. Are they going to do a recall on it? Even though it's not affecting every car, they do a recall. They may, right, which is their, their, their want, right, yep. the way to do that. But Apple won't. We haven't done a recall, no. So in this case, the best thing and to offer And most is likely you're not. I can't speak so. for, for Tim and what his choices are on the way down in chain, but that's why I come to work in a t-shirt, not a, not a suit and tie. Yeah. You know? But that's that's the best thing that we can offer today. And how much was the replacement? For the same exact... And is that new or refurbished? Brand new phone. Comes in a box that's a little bit different than the box that you get when you buy it new, but it's right off the line. For inventory purposes, they give it to you in a different box. But it's the same brand new phone. Same thing you would buy off the, off the shelf today. So for 150 bucks, you'd rather lose a customer forever. 
do I want to lose a customer for this? Is, uh, I don't know, right? But this is what this is what we're able to do given the state of everything else. Okay. Like I said, I had that customer this afternoon that was like, I'm going to go buy an HP tablet, right? The decision that I make is the decision that yeah, I but, make. Yeah, but, for but what was his problem, his issue? Could he upgrade and then it screwed it up? They upgraded. They were having issues with their Hotmail and their Google service. Right, right? But it's an issue that it's not, yeah. not my well, that, see, that, that's That's a different... But story altogether. He didn't upgrade to a new, story. you know, iOS and then have the thing not work for him. But they also, well, they're, that was the case, so it was not working. Their Gmail was not working on the iPad because it's not an Apple product, right? So, or an Apple service. So they're using our product to do another service that they're not happy with. And I totally get that, right? But they're willing to try those other steps, right? It's whatever we can offer. That's the step that we can give. You know, today, this is our is our option, our best step to get you that except if you're if you're not happy with that, there are third party resellers. There's a store downstairs that replaces screens if you want to talk to them and see what their options are. My credit card warranties it for an extra year. So if your credit card warranties it, have so, you talked to your credit no, card not yet. company about that, I figured I'd come to you guys first. That's what so you guys be, have to say. Yeah. And anyone who has a 4S that upgraded it and the Wi Fi goes on I'm just out of luck. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. I mean, if you've got it under your credit card, um, like another year on it, so to say, I would contact them because if they're able to get you a whole new phone or however they're going to do it, I would go through them. It might be a better way to do it. Okay. Right. And uh, still, I have the option of coming in here and replacing it if I wanted to. Yeah, we'll document everything. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. Thanks. 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 Thanks.